explosive plays. You've gotten quite a few wide receivers, you know, down the field as those vertical threats. I mean, what have you thought of what they brought to the offense in terms of creating those explosive plays? Uh, bring a lot yet to cover the whole field, you know, uh, when you play against us. Uh, real pleased with, you know, different traits by different receivers, fast guys, big guys, and then the ability to push the ball down the field by the quarterback and the layers of protection that go along with that to allow him to do so. You talked about the perimeter block and, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Have you seen improvements from those guys since? Uh, yes, gradual, but we, we're continuing to attack the perimeter blocking uh, aspect of our offense. We've got to continue to get better and better, uh, keep practicing every day, you know, stressing it every day, raising the standard every day to where it gets to where uh, it needs to be. Rutgers is tough in the red zone as a defense. I mean, does that change the play calling at all? What do you guys have to do to kind of combat that? Uh, it's a great question, but no, it doesn't change anything. And that goal line play with Carter Nelson, was that something you guys have been working on for a while to see? I mean, he's a seven foot high jumper. Is that kind of the thought, like he's just going to jump over the top of the, the yeah. pile there? Yeah, I think it was good just to get a rep of that, you know, a live rep for him to go in and execute that. And he, he got up. It's just they did a nice job of defending it. And what's it like to draw things up for, for Ja'Cory and knowing all the stuff that, that he can give you? Is that what, What's that process like for, for you during the week to, to think of new ways that you can creatively get him involved? Uh, I mean, our offensive staff's unbelievable, like, very, like really, really, really good football brains. You know, you want to be the dumbest guy in the room when you're in my position, and I am. So they, they come with lots and lots and lots of, of ideas. The players, Dylan, Ja'Cory, like we listen to everybody. You know, it's just it's fun to – diagram certain things and, and hopefully we can continue to do that and build on the ones that we've done thus far. Him, like what specifically makes him unique in, in his ability to uh, to just do things in a, in different ways as a true freshman? Uh, you have fast people and you have athletic people, but you may not have athletic people or fast people that are football players. Uh, as we've said before, he, he loves the game of football. He's, he's like a kid at recess when he's out there playing. He has the natural ability to for the movements and then he just natural instinct for the game. So, I mean, you literally don't, you could literally just talk to him, like go here, do this, make this move at this depth. And he could go out there and visualize it and do it, which allows you to be more creative uh, with guys like that. Marcus, with those plays that you have with Heinrich on the field, uh, how do you know when to call those? Just a feel, I guess. Uh, uh, you know, we last week we knew we wanted to do it really early. Uh, and, you know, the opportunity gave itself and we did it. Seem like the staff really liked Gunner, even last year behind the scenes. Uh, what did he do to put himself in position to be ready when he got called on? I think the way that we practice, the way Coach designs practice from spring ball through camp through even during the season, our guys, our, our scout team guys get better every single week of the season. We don't just throw them away to be read a card. Like, like we demand a standard of our scout team, and, and they play really, really, really hard and against some really good players. So. I think all the all the reps he got last year during the season, last spring, this camp, I think has allowed him to develop into, you know, a good young football player. Coach Rule seemed to think Saturday's game could be really useful for this team, kind of the way that game played out. Do you think that can help you guys going forward, the way you responded to to the zero zero score line? Or yeah, I think it was it was good just to go win a road game, you know, and uh, whether there was. Having to respond, I don't know if we had to respond to anything. I think we just kept playing and started executing. What's the biggest challenge of designing a run game when your quarterback is maybe a little more limited in that area? Uh, another good question. Uh, you just try to be creative. You know, sometimes you run it when you should throw it. You throw it and you should run it. Try to keep teams off balance. Uh, you know, you can always find based on who you're playing. You can always buy, find different angles by formations and motions and alignments and then there's times you got to get the ball in the perimeter in unique ways like we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Awesome. What do you think about about uh, Dylan's first uh, first journey on the road and just how he handled not being in this environment? Uh, not surprising. It probably was even more focused and locked in. Thanks, guys.